Welcome to another edition of the Great Interior Design Challenge. We're at Hanbury Hall, a large stately home built in some of the greenest and finest parkland in Worcestershire. The main range behind me is built in a gorgeous red brick, which is a kind of Queen Anne Jenga. The building is Grade 1 listed, which means an awful lot of work for our producers. This ain't no new build, kids. <laughs> We're working again with a keen young designer, Mr James Thornhill, who hopes to conquer, but not divide the world of great interior design. Putting them through their paces, scrutinising their every move, are our judges. Internationally renowned designer Kelly Hoppen and Daniel Hopwood. We're going to be really pushing these designers to the limit. I'm looking for a designer that has enough raw talent to really make it as one of the greatest in the designer world. As a judge in this competition, I'm going to be looking for perfection. As a judge, I think I'm going to be quite hard. I'm going to be looking for that je ne sais quoi. Yeah, but your je ne sais quoi has just left the room. C'est très joli. Oh, shut up, Daniel. Now let's meet the client, Mr Vernon, who is accompanied by his trusted housekeeper, Sarah, who goes everywhere with him um, because of his crippling condition, that of facial blindness. I don't have any children. I concentrate on my legal practice. When I inherited this property, I spent a great deal on home improvements. I am very successful. I could be called Red Brick Gentry. <laughs> what I'm looking for is a new young designer to complete my rural retreat. So that this place is not just for recreation, but somewhere where I can express my incredible wealth and extreme good taste. I am a fan of late Italian Baroque and early 90s Ikea. What I want is to bring the outside in. Now it's time for our contestant to meet the client and show him some of his designs. Thornhill, son of a grocer. Uh, I'm thinking modern, industrial, uh, traditional, uh, shabby chic, uh, transitional, uh, minimalist, uh, French uh, chic. Um, where are we? Formal chins. Actually, I hate doing uh, painted ceilings and Welsh dresses. Uh, we like painted ceilings, although we agree with you about the Welsh dresses. Hey, Daniel. His presentation is going really well. It's professional. There's a lot of great ideas on the table. He's literally covering everything. Bohemian, Hollywood glam, coastal, Hampton's fusion, age of enlightenment, mid-century squat house, Sora, which is really starting to make a comeback. I'm also a big fan of mythology, especially Apollo, so I thought we could add... Um... Have you considered Achilles? We're, we're great fans of Achilles. Sarah follows him on Twitter. I, I think he would be very suitable. I'm sensing a bit of friction, Kelly. I completely disagree with you. I think they're getting along. And it's a Tres Bon idea. It's going to be a multifunctional space. We're going to have zones for different acuities, accents of colour, refreshing, new, and yet a little bit old-fashioned. Right now, it's a symphony in beige. I want to take that beige and put it on a pedal stall and burn it. It's going to be quite a showstopper. I'm uh, very excited, uh, I, I think. Uh, a, a, a young... Uh... So young Thornhill uh, has listened to at least one of my ideas. It's not only the client who has to impress when converting this stairway into something a lot better, it's also the judges, but he has to keep in mind that it is a staircase at its core. 
Last week, we let one of the uh, contestants loose on a downstairs toilet, and the judges almost came to blows. This, and this, it just completely throws I mean, it. if the world is chaos, then creativity is order. And I would never have thought of using this colour. But yeah, it actually works. I mean, I completely disagree with you, Daniel. He's taken a huge risk with this lampshade, and it just hasn't paid off. He's better than that. You shut your eyes. At least both your eyes. And yeah. Wow. It's just not my style. End of. The 48 hours have started and Thornhill and his team get to work. And the other? Thornhill. Ah, Thornhill. I hope he sticks to his brief. Just a few hours left. The house is a hive of activity. Accessories are finally being put in place. I'm not calm and collected. I, I'm, I'm absolutely freaking out. He said, hurt you. I need more sticky tape. Where's the sticky tape? For heaven's sake, get out of the way, you fools! He's calm, he's collected, he's really good with his team. Personally, he's a bit bossy and could do with a good sit down and a nice cup of tea. But he's just got a sense of humour, which is what you need in this business. I agree with Kelly. It's time to look at the finished product. Are you ready, Mr. Vernon? Apprehensive, if a little drunk. Excellent. Let's go and take a look. He'll adore it. I'm not convinced, Kelly. What do you think, Mr. Vernon? Uh, how much did you say we were paying him? Three pounds a square yard for the ceilings and a pound a square yard for the walls. Oh, I only accept cash. Oh, uh, young Thornhill, have you ever considered being a court painter? Sally, take some photographs on Instagram. Tag George I. Hashtag he owes me. Young Thornhill, Sarah says this grotesque looks just like her. For your coincidence, sir. Join us again next week when one designer is tasked with turning Mary Baker from Chipping Norton's former heir B&B brothel into an arts and crafts slash meditation prayer room. Only on the Great Interior Design Challenge. <laughs>